drinking, kind of hungry, looking for something to eat. I have some bread. Yes, looking for some spread. Oh, unfortunately, there's no more spread. But I have orange. Yes, I have a sweet orange. I'm gonna make orange marmalade with those. For the orange marmalade recipe, I'm gonna using the local orange in Vietnam. You can find it everywhere. It's seasoned for orange, super cheap, super tasty. You're gonna love it. I'm gonna choose the best orange at the back. I'm gonna use five oranges for my jars of orange. For the first step, I'm gonna get the orange peel out of the orange by using the peeler. The orange peel, there's all of the flavor from the oil that contained in the peel. You get all the very nice flavor in the marmalade by putting this peel inside. All the oil, all the the best part of the orange for the flavor look at this it's very juicy pill there's a lot of oil just like this super easy super effective pillar this is a season for orange in Vietnam this orange is very sweet, very nice, very juicy. It's one of the best local orange in Vietnam. So I, sh I need to get myself a few jars of the marmalade, keep in my fridge so I can use it for a couple of months before the season ends. Wow, look at this. Gorgeous, gorgeous smell. Very nice. Now I'm gonna transfer my pill here. Keep it nicely. Now I need to get the juice out of the orange. Wow, look at this. Gorgeous, very juicy, very nice, very good flavor of the orange. This is kind of organic, kind of heirloom orange. So all of the fruits are actually in different shape, even different color. But the flavor is just the same, just amazing, really amazing. I need to get my skin. Continue with the orange peel. For the orange peel, I'm gonna just cut it in the long string, just like this, just like this, and it's gonna be very nice in your marmalade. Transfer the peel inside the container Look the string that I chop it a Very nice fine string and then I'm transferring the orange juice that I squeezed out those orange here um, I get two lamb uh, you actually can use lemon lemon we give uh, better flavor, but uh, I don't have lemon I use lamb uh, I'm gonna use a zester to get some of the zest from the lamb. 
it will get you very good flavor as well too. Just get the, the green part because all of the oil, the flavor, get it from the um, from the green part. You don't want to get bitter from the white part of the lamb. Get some ju juice. I gotta get um, the uh, lamb juice because I want to make the flavor of the um, marmalade. Want to make it a little bit acidity. You don't want to get it very sweet. And the orange is already sweet, so need to get some acid in it. So. I I'm using the lamb. Two of the lamb. And now I'm gonna add sugar. For my marmalade, I'm gonna use uh, brown sugar. You can also use white sugar. I'm gonna use here about one kilo kilograms of brown sugar, the light brown sugar. Uh, the amount of sugar is really up on you. If you want your marmalade to be sweet or not really sweet, also it depends on the lamb juice or the lemon juice as you put inside. And also I will flavor my marmalade with uh, lemon, uh, cinnamon stick very good flavor two of the star anise I want to try here as well the uh, raisin I want to put the raisin inside I want to see the result if it's really good mm, I never put raisin inside but this time I want to try it To mix it up and you want to get some of the flesh of the orange inside the marmalade as well to make it um, more thick so the result will give you um, like a little bit jelly like uh, marmalade so I put some of the uh, orange uh, the, the flesh the segment of the orange. This mixture you need to keep in the fridge for at least 12 hours so um, the orange will observe the sweetness from the sugar and also the sugar will abstract the uh, flavor and uh, the oil from the um, peel and also from the uh, flavor that I put in cinnamon sticks and star anise Wow, it looks so gorgeous. I'm gonna put this mixture inside the fridge for 12 hours. I will see the result. Hey guys, so I'm gonna check my stuff after 12 hours. Orange marmalade. After 12 hours, this is what the result is. Look at this. Oh my gosh, so gorgeous, very nice. The flavor is good already, the texture is actually really good. I'm gonna bring it to the pot. Look at this. I'm gonna bring it to the pot and keep it boiled for uh, 45 minutes. So this is my orange marmalade after 12 hours of preserve inside the fridge. I'm gonna bring it to the bar, medium to high heat, and give it just 45 minutes and we we'll see the result after. 
So this is my orange marmalade after being swimmer for half an hour. Look quite thick. The flavor is really awesome. I'm gonna keep it for another 15 minutes and while boiling it, I'm going to clean up my jar. So this is the result of my orange marmalade. I already put it in a jar and it's already cooled down for about half an hour. Now I'm gonna try it on my toast. Just get a little bit. It's look like kind of candied, like uh, a little bit of uh, caramelized because I put brown sugar and also there's a raisin. I'll try one raisin here as well. Let's give it a try. Mmm, really nice. Bon appetit.